guys I buy these older items I take the scratches out the pits of rust uh, put oil on them make them look great do regular maintenance on them nothing fabulous who cares if it takes the value out for somebody else it looks great for you these older guys will say well you took the patina out of it and, and my answer always is is well if you mean uh, by doing regular maintenance guilty Hey guys, Tim here again, and uh, this is where I always do all my 500 yard shots to sight my rifles in or see what they're capable of. So I was just talking to Bob recently about how I was shooting my 243 at 500 yards and doing really well. Uh, just getting really great groups and great accuracy once I figured out what the drop was. Well, he said... Uh, and I and I have to I have to quote here. I'm the one who corrupted Bob into the 6.5 Swedish Mauser. I just have to say that to say my piece. Uh, he wasn't interested in it at first. He wanted to sell me a 6.5 Swedish Mauser, and I said, "Hey, you need to shoot that rifle first. He shot it, fell in love with it, and uh, I've been shooting that. I've been shooting the 6.5 Swede for for about 40 years up to that point. So I love it. But he, he made a claim recently. He said the 6.5 Swede can outperform the 243 at 500 yards. I don't have a long range scope on this rifle, but I am gonna see if he's right, because uh, it is accurate. Uh, I know I'm deadly with this rifle up to 350 yards. So I'm gonna give it a go here. Uh, I'm gonna shoot it at 500 yards and uh, and just see see what I can do see what the accuracy is like with this rifle what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot a group and then I'm gonna measure and uh, and this is this is gonna be really tough without without a comparable scope it's not gonna really be a fair contest but at this point I just want to see if I can get on paper at this kind of yardage he he now is in love with the 6.5 Swede. Uh, he says it can outperform the 6.5 Creedmoor, which I'll believe that. I love the 6.5 Swedish. Uh, you know, I, I haven't looked at anything on paper yet, but let's see what kind of groups we can get. All right, guys, this is a very old rifle. Uh, so let's see what we can do here. Let's see if if I can get out there at 500 yards I'm going to be really happy because this thing is it's it's so short and and easy to carry in the woods if I can get away with doing this I'm going to be really happy so uh, without any further ado let's see what it can do okay I'm arcing for drop here Nice, smooth rifle, hardly any recoil at all. So guys, according to the box here, box says it all, uh, 300 yards, we're looking at an 18.8 inch drop. And we're looking at five inches 5.3 inches at 200 yards. So let's do a little math here. I'm doing some math in my head. Trying to calculate where this is going to drop at 500 yards. Okay. So if I'm at 18 inches at 300 yards, which would put me here, then I'm looking at... 500 yards right about here Okay, 500 yards again guesstimating trying to dial this sucker in Let's see what we got right here. 
All right, let's go look and see what we got. I've got holes from my 6.5 Swede on here, but not where I had aimed them. Uh, they are a little bit lower, but it tells me that it is possible to get out here with a 6.5. The drop is, uh, it's a little more than a 243, I noticed. And, uh, but, but you can get out here with it. You just have to have the right scope to guide you out this far. 500 yards is a long way. I am convinced that this rifle would get out here to 500 yards with the right scope, but uh, this little 2-7 to seven scout scope just really isn't going to get me past 250, pushing it maybe 300 yards.